All right, Transformer fans and all, <coughs> I'm back <coughs> with a little comparison review of the Legacy Evolution Orion Pax and the Power of the Primes Orion Pax. Well, let's just say that these two bots are not comparable literally. Why? Because apparently this was considered deluxe, but this is also deluxe. So I don't know why the size is such a difference. Well, thanks as well for the engineering and everything, which I didn't understand the word of. Okay, now, anyway, let's get down to business. Now, this set came with this. This is a Optimus Prime armor, <coughs> which this guy will become the core. Something like a Power Master gimmick kind of thing. While this guy is an entirely, uh, not an entirely new figure, but it's a direct retooling of the Studio Series 86 Cup, which I remember. Why? Because it has this stupid little uh, all, all gasket thing, which I don't know where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to, uh, rather than help in the, you know, in the hand. Okay, now, the main difference we have for these two figures are obviously the size. That's one. Number two, <clears throat> obviously, the legacy one is more cartoon accurate because of the color of the windscreen, whereby in the show, the windscreen looks like this because Cybertron in mode. <clears throat> As for this one, it has a transparent window frame thingy with an Autobot logo. He shouldn't be <coughs> an Autobot yet. <coughs> that because in according to the, you know, the TV series, War Dawn, Season 2 episode, <coughs> Optimus Prime was considered to be, was considered to be the first Autobot. <coughs> the Plague of Resistance. So therefore, Autobot should be Optimus Prime. But anyway, they made it this, this way. So, yeah. Let's see the sides. <clears throat> okay. Now. Obviously, the hands here, the shoulder here has some violet, bluish color, while this one is fully red. And of course, the connection for the vehicle mode here has a blue, but this one is totally red. <clears throat> for the legs, this has a grey, while this is white. I would say the white one is more accurate. For the legs, this is the violet um, blue thing that we see on the head and on the shoulder joints. While for the one from Power, Ma Power of the Primes, this head is dark blue. <coughs> and this is also dark blue. But of course, <coughs> if you look at the Power of the Primes one, this is thicker while this on the legacy one are actually wheels that can roll i think let's see if it, let's see if they roll oh uh, yeah they roll okay so <clears throat> for accessories the legacy one comes with the i don't know what they call it the all can or something while you get a red colored rifle a gun I don't remember what color the gun was in War Dawn. In the Power of the Primes one, you get this half, the front half of the Optimus Prime laser rifle, iron rifle, that is supposed to be combined with the front back half to form the full rifle. So transformation, they are totally different and everything. So basically, this is the major differences between these two and of course the reason why i got the war dawn sets was mainly not because of him but because of alpha trion which never had a figure before this and of course this ball thingy which i believe is vector sigma with the removal key <clears throat> all in all i would say this is a good figure once the other set 
which is the Dion and the Ariel, is out because they pair perfectly with him. Instead, <coughs> this was not actually com um, parable with them because I think the size is different. But the only good thing about this guy is that this forms the Optimus Prime that is suitable to be paired with the Combiner Wars Stroke LG Legends Megatron that is leader class. That is the only reason I got him for because I have the leader class Megatron from Legends. So with this, they can go paired hand in hand. So that is my simple basic comparison. Hope you enjoy.